it's been a while since I've done a Life of Luxury video. But if you don't know who Life of Luxury is, let me give you a quick rundown. Pretty much, Life of Luxury is a YouTube horror show of these two guys, Parker and Chester, who make these horror videos on YouTube of like creatures and paranormal activity, monsters and demons, uh, like chasing after people and like trying to attack them or kidnap them or kill them or something. Uh, it's mostly demons and spiritual things. But, like, they always go to their house to protect them, but they never do anything. Like, whenever stuff goes down, like, whenever the creature or demon, like, attacks them or attacks the victim, they either, like, not either, they just run out. They just completely ditch everything. They just completely ignore the fact that they were trying to save the person. Um, so they just completely run out of the house and just leave them to die. So, not only would I never trust these guys to protect me, because when stuff goes down, they would just leave me to die. Um, I would never trust these guys to protect me. But that's not the point of the video. We are going to be checking out their most recent video, which is actually a month ago, so I'm kind of late to the party. Uh, it waits until you fall asleep. It's the most recent video. Let's dive right in. It's 23 minutes long, so I'll be skipping ahead to the good parts. There's like three four or five good parts honestly um but yeah let's check it out dive head first right in head first i suck at intros let's just go right in we received an email from a girl named olivia who thinks she has a stalker uh okay that's weird because i've never seen that on a life of luxury video that explicit they usually have like a picture of a woman just like a basic picture of her standing there or sitting there. Um, but I've never seen anything that explicit on a Life of Luxury video. That's, uh, that's new. But, uh, yeah. Staying outside of her house. Olivia says she feels unsafe because she currently lives alone because all of her roommates recently went missing. She also says that often when she looks outside at night, she sees a creepy looking old lady in the woods who keeps asking to come inside. She sent us this video for proof. Yeah, Olivia, I don't think Parker and Chester are going to be able to help you on this one. Uh, not only because they would leave you behind to die if stuff goes down, but I don't think that Parker and Chester can handle something like that. I don't even think the police could handle something like that. I think it's more of like a priest or churchist issue. Maybe uh, get some holy water from your local church and kind of like sprayed on the demon to see if it like shudders and runs away but uh it's more of a church holy water jesus issue more than a parker and chester issue uh just a little advice so tonight we're going to drive to olivia's house and try to find out who's been stalking her but first a quick word from us no one wants to hear that Okay, so I'm going to skip through this entire drive segment because literally in every Life of Luxury video, they go to the person's house in the car. They always film it for some reason. And in every single video, I'm not exaggerated, I'm not exaggerate, exaggerating, every single video, Chester on the left here says, I don't think we should be going here. I think it's dangerous. I don't know. Which, smart move on his part, I wouldn't want to be doing that either. But Parker, for some reason, on the right there, wants to go to the house for some reason. I have no idea why. Maybe he's dumb. Because I would not want to go to that house after seeing that video. Uh, I don't think I would be able to fix it, even if I had a gun. Uh, if I Even if I had a gun with me, I still wouldn't be able to think I would be able to kill that demon monster thing. 
I don't think it would take more than just a gun to kill that demon monster thing chasing after Olivia. So, yeah, I don't know why Parker is so insistent to go to the house every video, but it's part of the script, honestly. So why am I even arguing with the script? I don't know. Let's continue. Um, hi, we're here for Olivia. Is she home? Yeah, I'm Olivia. I catfished you. This is like the biggest twist in history of twists. Screw movie twists, screw TV show twists. This is the biggest twist of anything ever. This is the biggest twist ever. I love it. Honestly, I love it. Chad, right. Uh, so can you tell us why you reached out to us and why you catfished us? Listen, I only catfish you guys because I watched your videos. You only go to girls' houses. <laughs> what is he talking about? I really don't see what you mean. But that is true, though. They do only go to female victims' houses. <clears throat> I don't think I've seen one Life of Luxury video in the history of Life of Luxury videos where they go and help a male victim. It's always a female victim. For some reason, I really I really don't know why, but maybe they realize like, hey, we need to switch it up a bit here. Maybe, I'm not, I don't know this for sure, but maybe people were like commenting on their videos like, hey, why do you only go to female houses, female people's houses? Why do you only go to women's houses? Why don't you only, uh, why don't you ever go to male houses, male victims' houses? It's weird, I don't know. Whatever, but being serious, I need your guys' help. There's this weird old lady stalking me and she won't leave me alone. Okay, well, listen, Chad, it would be one thing if you contacted us about this initially, but you totally lied about who you were. How do you expect us to take you seriously? You guys did see the video, um, so I don't know what you mean. Sure, like, I, I mean, like, he lied about who he was, but he obviously didn't lie about the creepy old lady, demon creature thing outside of his house. That's obviously real. Obviously this video isn't real, this plot isn't real, but the video is trying to say it's real. But obviously he didn't lie about the demon outside of his house, so I don't know what they're getting at here. Okay, so I want to see if the girl I saw earlier is still there. <laughs> oh wow, what a coincidence. As soon as the camera panned over to the girl in the forest, the light was already on her. And before you say, Chester was using a flashlight or something like that. No, he wasn't, because the light was already on her before the camera even showed her. So, I'm gonna have to call fake. I mean, obviously all of their videos are fake, but yeah, fake. Hello? Can you hear me? Do you need help? <laughs> what is that? <gasps> Watch out! Watch out! <laughs> I mean, if I'm going to have to applaud this channel for one thing, it's definitely the practical effects. The practical effects on this channel and the makeup and the costumes that they use are amazing. I love it. Some of it's actually kind of scary. But what is completely cringe and bullcrap is the acting, the plot, and everything like that. Um, pretty much the only good thing about this channel is the practical effects, costumes, and makeup. Nothing else is good about this channel. Number one, because it's all fake. I mean... Come on, we all have to come together and agree that this is fake. 
Um, but yeah, practical effects are good. Anything else about this channel is not good. I don't like anything else about this channel but the practical effects. What? Is everything okay? What's the problem? Dude, I just saw that girl from earlier. Something pulled her into the woods. Wait, what girl? You mean Olivia? Uh, we're gonna watch the footage in the morning and we can see if that old lady comes back. Oh, you bet. You bet. Uh, hey, but listen, you might not want to watch the footage from my room tomorrow. I might have a bit over. <laughs> oh, come on. You gotta be joking me. What, you jealous you poofs don't get no bitches? I've seen y'all sharing that bed. <gasps> Dude! What? <laughs> I gotta laugh at that because that is true. Every single video, they always share a bed. These guys are obviously self-aware at this point. I don't know if they were a couple months ago, or maybe even a few years ago, but these guys, at this point in time, they're obviously self-aware, and they realize that their content is fake, and they realize that we realize their content is fake, which is why I kind of love this channel, but kind of hate this channel at the same time. Uh, but I love that joke there of how what they made um, of what the Chad made like you guys share the same bed which again I say is true but I love how he mentioned that I love the joke I love how self-aware they are at this point I just love it I had to point that out are you alright? what was that about? dude you know what that was about since we got here this guy has done nothing but disrespect us Disrespect to me. Huh? He's not taking this seriously. This is all just a big joke to him. I'm beginning to think that this guy is not in any danger at all. <laughs> Listen, now he's smashing stuff in there and screaming. You know what? I'm gonna go say something. Parker, you can't be real. I mean, that's a genuine scream, and he's playing it off as, oh. He's breaking stuff. He's acting like this guy's crazy. It's obviously real. Parker, I mean, the video is not real. But, Parker, you did see the video, right? Of the creature. Of the demon old lady chasing after Chad or whatever at the front door. You did see that, right? I don't know. I don't know why they made Parker so dumb in this video. Like, so unbelief. Or like, he's not believing the scenario. I don't know. Kind of bothers me. Bro, why? Chad, listen. I've had enough of your behavior. You have no respect for me. You have no respect for my friend. Again, I say, why did they? Why did they make Parker so dumb in this video? Because he's floating in midair. He's like floating in midair. I don't know how Parker's not noticing that. Again, it's the script. It's part of the script. I'm arguing with the script. I don't know why I'm doing that. But it just bothers me for some reason of why they made Parker so dumb in this video. I don't know why. I don't think he's usually this dumb. I think he's he usually believes the scenarios. And he usually like is not this angry with the victim. I don't know why he's so angry with the victim. It's weird. It kind of bothers me. And frankly, the words you use to refer to woman disgust me. It's gone. <sighs> Who are you? Please help me. Huh? Please help me. What? What's wrong with you? It's because it's for me. Did what? It took my daughter. Burger? Burger? Also, I don't understand why they put so much effort into a YouTube video. I mean, these guys, again, these guys are making m tens of millions of views a video, and this video is just like a month old, and it already has 4 million views. That's a lot of views in one month. These guys were getting paid out the yin yang. So I guess that they can afford people and can afford the good editing equipment and good 
stuff to make these videos, good costumes, good makeup and stuff like that. Um, but I don't know why they put so much effort into a YouTube video. Like I said, again, they're getting paid out the yin yang from these videos. So I guess they can do it because they're so rich. Um, but I don't think it's necessary to put this much effort, this, this much makeup, this much CGI and practical effects into a YouTube video. Uh, I could obviously understand it being in like an actual TV show. Um, but I don't understand why they would put it in a YouTube video put this much effort into a YouTube video, but you do you, Parker and Chester. You do you. What? I just saw that lady! Really? Wait, who? Dude, the old lady who's been stalking him! I just saw her by the window! She wanted me to let her in! And did you? No, but she looked messed up! I think she came from the woods! Dude, why do you keep bringing up the woods? Because I think there's something dangerous out there! We need to leave, now! Parker, this is your job. You do this. I don't know why you're being so angry at the victim. I don't know why you're being so angry at Chad. I don't know why you're denying it. You saw the video, and every time you do something like this, Parker, the creature, demon, it always comes from outside, in the woods. It always comes from somewhere outside. So I don't know why Parker's being so, like, uh, I don't know the right word, but he's not believing it. He's denying it, denying it. That's right, we're denying. Um, I don't know why he's doing that. Again, it's the script. Um, it's just frustrating, angry. I'm angry. Not angry, angry, but it's annoying. It's annoying. I, I don't like it how Parker's just like this dense. These guys are a very heavy sleeper. I mean, Chester Parker, you have a woman screaming at the top of her lungs, you have a demon roaming through the house making all kinds of noises, and you guys are just sleeping right through it. I don't know if I would trust you guys to watch over me from any demon or anything. I, don't, I wouldn't trust you guys to watch me over anything. I wouldn't trust you guys to protect me from anything, because you guys would either sleep right through it, or you guys would abandon me and leave me to die. One of the two. Or maybe both. No, it couldn't have been. It can't be both. Uh, one of the two. They would either leave me behind or sleep right through it. I don't know. I wouldn't trust these guys to protect me. What is that? Dude, I think there's something down here. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, Chester, I don't think there's really much Parker can do to save you. Um, I don't know. There's not really much he can do. Uh, did you guys forget something? You guys forgot Chad. I don't know why you guys just, again, these guys always leave behind the victim. They never attempt to save the victim. They never just save them. They always abandon them. Again, I would not trust these guys to protect me. 
because uh, they would either either sleep right through it or they would abandon me. And prime example right here, they just abandoned Chad. Poor Chad. Rest in peace, Chad. Put spam rest in peace, Chad, in this comment section, guys. Spam it. <laughs> I don't know. Do you think that thing took Olivia? What? Dude, I told you. Olivia's not. <coughs> you wanna know what? Never mind. Let's just go home. Good idea. Maybe she sent us an email. Let's go home and check. What? No! Wait, wait up! Obviously, you didn't hear from Olivia or Chad. I'm just gonna call him Chad. Obviously, you didn't hear from Chad because, uh, you left him to die. He's probably dead at this point. By the time you guys got to the car, he was probably dead. His soul was probably eaten by the demon monster. He probably joined the undead. You guys left- you guys literally left a man to die. How do you feel about yourselves that you left a man to die? How do you feel about yourselves, Parker and Jester, that you left a man to die? This is not the first occurrence of that either. They have left multiple people to die. Multiple people. How do you guys feel? Uh, but that's about it, actually, because that's the end of the video. So what do you guys think? I think this is completely fake, obviously, but if this was real, these guys would be charged for, like, some sort of murder because they left someone behind to die. Uh, purposely, I think. And they've done it multiple times. Uh, but yeah, I number one, I love how self-aware these guys have become. They're completely self-aware. Uh, I love it. Um, uh, I love it. I love the CGI. I love the uh, practical effects, the makeup, uh, the costumes that they sometimes use in different videos. Um, I love it. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, comment, like, and subscribe. Drop your thoughts in, about this video in the comments down below. I love you guys. See you in the next video. Peace.